Buffalo Sabres vs. Tampa Bay Lightning Game Preview and Discussion This game looks promising in terms of fun. Although the Buffalo Sabres suffered a loss to the Toronto Maple Leafs, they are still looking for a wild card berth. They are a team capable of scoring a lot of goals and they are not weak in defense either. Averaging 3.69 goals per game, they are third in the league in scoring, while their 3.49 goals against average is eighth highest in the NHL. Also, with a 24.9% success rate on the power play, goalkeeper Andre Vasilevsky is likely to have his hands full tonight. While the Sabres aren't an often shooting team, averaging 32.4 shots per game, which puts them 12th in the league, tied with the Lightning, they are accurate at what they do, having 11.39% shooting, second only to the Seattle Kraken. However, they are not as prolific in creating high-danger opportunities, averaging 11.78 HDCF-60 in 5v5, which puts them 18th in the league. It looks like the Sabres are mostly relying on their standout players to generate offense and convert opportunities into goals. Largely responsible for his success is Tage Thompson, a 6 feet 6 inches and 220 pound center who is having a career best performance this season with 36 goals in 55 games. His field goal percentage is 16.7%. About 4% higher than his career average. Buffalo has four other players who have scored 20 or more goals this season, Alex Touch, 27, Victor Olofsson, 23, Jeff Skinner, 22, and Dylan Cousins, 20. All four players are posting higher than career shooting percentage this season. Sometimes that's how it works, everything falls into place and you have a wildly successful year. These players are young, except Skinner, and are learning and improving together, which has been key to their success this season. To help their young defense and average goaltender, the Sabres need to score as many goals as possible. When he's healthy, Craig Anderson has been a good choice but he's only played in 19 games this season. In his appearances, he has a record of 8-7-2, with a goals against average of 2.79, a .915 save percentage and 6.42 GSX, which are reasonable numbers. However, replacements for him, Akopekka Lukanen and Eric Komari, have been struggling, posting GSX numbers of minus 6.89 and minus 7.75 respectively, while having a save percentage of less than 0 .900. Despite that, the Sabres continue to chase a wild card berth and come into action tonight four points behind the Florida Panthers for second with four games in hand, and they still face the Panthers tomorrow at sunrise. The Lightning generally do well against teams fighting for a wild card spot, and next week they'll face the Sabres, Detroit Red Wings, Pittsburgh Penguins, and Panthers, all of these teams are vying for the chance to play the Bruins or Carolina Hurricanes in the first round. The Lightning are looking to keep the momentum going after their 6-1 win over the Anaheim Ducks on Tuesday. This victory was especially encouraging because it featured goals from six different players, indicating that the team is finding offensive in all lines. While the team has relied on its dynamic frontline and strong power play for much of the season, the contribution of players like Ross Colton, Nick Paul, Vlad Nemesnikov and Anthony Sorelli could prove crucial in the postseason. The Sabres are an interesting opponent for the Lightning, especially second-row center Steven Stamkos, who has scored 44 points, 21 goals and 23 assists, in 47 career games against them. Nikita Kusharov scored 17 goals in 30 games against the Sabres, which is the second-highest total of goals against any other franchise, second only to his 19 goals against Detroit. Lightning starting goaltender Andre Vasilevsky has an impressive record against the Sabres, with 12 wins, 1 draw, 1 loss, a 1.77 GAA, a .935 SV percent, and 2 shutouts. While it's tough to make 3 goals against Vasilevsky, the Sabres team needs to try to top him, especially as they are still chasing a wild card berth, four points behind the Florida Panthers for the second spot with four games in hand. Mais sobri o texto original necessario fornicer o texto original para ver mais informacos sobri a tragicao.